Several parks or some parks and gardens in Nigeria's capital here in Abuja have started complying with the directives of the Federal Capital Territory Administration to close operations from 7 p.m. despite anger by residents over the policy. When Arise News visited one of the gardens in the Meitama district of the city, one owner said he was closing at 7 p.m. in com compliance with the directive by the Abuja city officials. Although some residents have written the Federal Capital Territory Minister, Mohamed Bello, through a lawyer, describing the enforcement of the closing hour as improper and illegal, the controversial policy remains in place, and they say the next option left is to approach the court. And earlier, a Raj News analyst and lawyer, Frank Teche, spoke on the decision by the Abuja City authorities to close parks and gardens by 7 p.m. Ingenious ideas to the extent of just trying to take away freedoms. It is totalitarianism of the highest order that we have. We didn't even experience under the history of military governance in this country to think of controlling people's life to the extent that they shouldn't enjoy the fundamental freedoms of association and movement uh, to restrict their movement, especially when it's a private business. A federal capital city of the class of Abuja should be to be, you know, planning to be more cosmopolitan like other cities like New York and Las Vegas. Why take away the freedom of people to associate in the, in the evening time, especially those who enjoy their beer and their grills? Just because some persons don't like it, it doesn't mean it matter because we have a federal capital territory that is a coalescence of um, different persons. It's a multi-ethnic uh, society, different people, different traditions, different cultures that meet here. And people should learn, especially those who run the administration at this time, should learn to be tolerant. And this level of intolerance is unacceptable for a modern democratic state and a progressive city like Abuja. Arise News Analyst Frank Tete earlier. Well, joining us for more on this is the Senior Special Assistant to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Ikara Ata. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on the news. A wonderful time, my double A sister, uh, Diswa <laughs> and Amaka. Great oh, to have never you. Even thought about nice time being with the Yes. Uh, so you listen to Frank Tieti mm -hmm. there, and he's not alone. Uh, I mean, there have been reactions such as this to that announcement. Why do you want to disrupt people's lives, social lives, and livelihoods? And uh, what is necessitating this action? Let's start from there. Thank Why you very much. Decision? When you ask about disrupting, I, I felt somehow that uh, I'll be so much in the hot seat. But let's, let's, let's get it. I think uh, I've spoken with uh, uh, Barista Frank Tete, one who actually have passion uh, for societal good and human rights here. And I made some explanation uh, when we spoke on the phone this morning. I told him that what we are enforcing is uh, something that is not new, but somehow, somewhat, maybe some persons left it before. In 2006, precisely in November, uh, the then FCT minister actually came up with a park policy. The park policy was sent to the president and commander in chief, then it was assented to and gazetted. And that is, those are the policies that we have looked into that look. When you open a park or a garden, uh, open green space, you ought to commence operation from 7 p.m. Uh, some of the park operators, since then there have been engagement, all this about, about 14 to 16 years uh, down the line, and some of the park operators have raised questions about the timing, that you cannot uh, short park by the time of 7 p.m., that many persons may just be closing from work, they need to come, relax, unwind, and enjoy, and they wanted the time as shifted. They went to court. Uh, the court advice that is something that is best settled out of court. They came back and since then it has been a front and back, front and back, front and back. And the FCTA believe that at the time we are in, it's apt for us to have parks that really will close on time. We, if if if, if we talk about a civilized clan in the world, yes, parks close on time. We've all traveled. Parks, most of the parks close around six, some around seven o'clock. If you want to take uh, whatever you take, you you go to lunches, you go to bars, or you go to nightclub, or you go to a hotel and whatever places. And some people have argued that no, that this city over time had gotten acclimatized to people resting in these parks and gardens. So that time of seven may not hold. That's why that was why this morning we had a very deep meeting, very detailed meeting where we have uh, part of some persons from the NUJ civil society, uh, the park operators and. And those of us from the FCTA Parks Department, uh, the meeting was presided over, um, uh, over by Dr. Juma Amod, the Director of Reform Coordination and Service Improvement. And the meeting was on the directive of the Permanent Secretary that we should meet and engage. And we engaged. And the park owner said, look, 
There must be a closing time for park. You don't just come there and stay throughout uh, till Mama call, as we say it, or to infinity. That even their staff that closes very late sometimes, they fall into one chance and watchful that they are advocating. That let's look at 9 to 10. We are saying what we have written is 7 uh, at p.m. And after all the meeting, we say, okay, we'll take that to the permanent secretary, to the minister, and we'll look at it. That our public art crowd have also been suggesting the same thing, 9 or 10, that people from there can go home. Right, of course, this is not a new law like you have said. 2005, I remember right. President Elusha Gobasanjo actually Sorry. signing that law. But one wonders why now. And let's not forget, there is a court case at the Federal High Court right here in Abuja challenging the minister's decision to actually shut down the parks at 7 p.m. Don't you think this is no, no, actually no, no, no. going see, against... No, 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 let, let me explain. There's not a judgment on that no, no, just no, no, yet. No, 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 let me explain. For now, I don't want to say there's a court case challenging the minister. Well, there is a case. No, let, let me explain. No, no, there is a case. Uh -huh. the, the parks department and the, that's the ones who regulate the parks, parks and recreation department and the park operators, they've been meeting over time, over the issue of time. They couldn't agree. So the park operators went to court. And the court said, look, you people need to go and settle out of court. They've been out of court for a long period of time here, engaging in the issue of timing. They are advocating 9 to 10. Why the FCTA is saying, let's look at 7 o'clock so that we can keep the greens. Those who want other things can go. Uh, we've been doing that. They've been going to and fro. And that was why the meeting for today, we held this morning, everyone ended up very happy. The permanent secretary asked that that meeting be called because persons complain bitterly from the media, from the bar, uh, from every field that, look, we need to take time after we close from work to go on wine. What, okay. But actually enforcing 7 p.m. while well, there's not an agreement between the park operators no, no, are, and are, the FCT. No, no, we are almost, we are al no, 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 it's not sub it's not, it's not sub we are, we, we are almost there. We are almost, almost no, I'm serious. Well, We're almost, there. almost there. Are you implementing it or not? Because we went Arise News went to town today yeah. and he made Are you sorry, it's not compliance? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, are you no, implementing no, I, or not? I, I, I was out today, we've engaged in conversation. We discovered that that particular document had been signed. Mm -hmm. They went to court. We are going out of court here. And we said, look, we can't have power because we have several challenges around. The challenges is what some of the park owners raise, that if it is security, they can provide more exactly. to keep the place. If it is the issue of drug, which is one of the biggest problems we have in some of the parks, although we have very many parks in compliance, very many parks without drug issues, very many parks without uh, security challenges. The few ones we have, they are dealing with the, the NDLA. They are all interfacing okay. together with that. We had the meeting today, mm -hmm. and they are saying, look, they are asking the question that yes. you are asking me that, please, can we slow down a little? Mr. Asa, we need to go, but uh, you know, no, a lot of people are asking why. So this is not a new law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to do this? Are you, you're doing it because there's an existing policy, not because there's a new challenge. Yes or no? No, no, no. It's an ongoing conversation that I've been on for over a decade now. If you ask the park operators, they've been speaking, engaging with parks and recreation for over a decade. That's what they said to that. They have always been engaging. The disagreement had been with time. So now the time, time, what time, time are parks no, supposed to close in Abuja now? now, now from what, your meeting and from, your no, discussions from, our from meeting today. With them, confirm that to us. We, from our own end, mm -hmm. we have 7 p.m. signed about uh, many years ago. They are saying, please, Give I'm asking about your agreement today. Quickly, no, 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 quickly. There's we no have agree to go. No, there's no agreement go. today. What we agree, we all met, we discussed. Dr. Juma Amodo will be reporting to the permanent secretary who will okay. meet the minister and will come up with a position. So for and now, we all packs agree have to with close at seven. seven. Yeah. Ikarata, thank you so much for joining us tonight on the program.